Okay, so you main mid lane and the Aswo, correct? Yes, that's correct. Okay, how long have you been playing? Like one and a half year. Okay, you've been silver season 5 gold and now you're silver 1. Um, have you been playing Yasuo for since release or? F no, I picked him up uh, last season. Okay. Um, Yasuo is actually really interesting right now because I'm not sure what mastery they take on him. Well, I, I kind of did my research and in top lane they mostly take grasp of the undying versus bruisers and uh, i think it that. depends on the matchup yeah actually. yeah yeah, the matchup. yeah, yeah. Mid, mid lane it's it, it can be either grasp as well against champion that can poke you out of lane or thunder lords versus things when you need a uh, bigger burst i'm not sure how good the new warlords is on him uh, that requires some further research but I yeah, mean, after yeah. the after the change, I'm not sure it's actually viable. I think Grasp is. No, yeah, Grasp is really good to get through uh, your laning phase with sustain. Um, also, they're starting to build Phantom Dancer sometimes, which yeah, is yeah. In top lane, I, I noticed that uh, yeah, yes. they build Phantom Dancer. Um. Also, not sure whether Triforce or Infinity Edge is better. Well, in mid lane, I generally go for Infinity Edge because it just requires in mid lane you you deal the most damage and and it uh, provides you with a much higher DPS. But uh, Triforce is Triforce uh, Triforce's mobility is really good though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You That's can the really well thing. And it, it's pretty good for dueling against yes. bruisers like Darius or Ivan or yeah, yeah. And Elia. with constant Qs, you get Chimp procs off really easily yes, as well. Yes. I'm not sure about that. Um, okay, so you have a 67% twin rate. That's decent. Yeah. Um, did you want to ask something before we jump into the vote review? No, no, no. We can just start with okay. the vote. Okay. Um, can you see my screen? Yes, I can. Okay, good. Let me start it up. Oh wow! You actually have a really good setup for your alts. Choke at uh, Janna and Malfight. Yeah. Yeah, this is insane. Okay, <laughs> you're against LeBlanc. They have Lee in Jungle. Okay. Let's jump forward a bit. Actually, we trade with her a little bit here because she just. I don't know what she's doing, what she's trying to do here. Okay. Ah, you missed that Q, unfortunate. Yeah, yeah. That would actually swing the lane even harder if you hit that one, because she might have needed to back, and she would lose a lot of experience. And she will actually go. back, I think. Oh, wow, that would be really good. And I think she also used the health potion. Not sure. Here, freezing is good, since she actually did back. Yes. I missed quite a bit of CS. I don't think you go for the tornado there since it will push towards her now. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you will hit level 2 faster anyway since she missed some CS. I mean this is a sort of unique case since that level 1 was weird. I see. I uh, have grasp. I think in this matchup, yeah, grasp is good. Oh, jungle Chogath. Haven't seen it in a while. Yeah, well, he was quite uh, interesting during the whole game. <laughs> <laughs> and he went Nashors, the first item. Oh, interesting. Okay, you took Windwell. Here it's better if you stay on bot the lower side of the lane, since your jungler is bot lane. Ah, yeah. yeah. Try to hug the side where your jungler, jungler is. is so yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I know. That was a good trade. Okay. 
think she does your Q uh, your Q does proc the grasp healing and stuff right yes 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 okay, okay. Tornado. yeah yeah okay that's good okay <clears throat> uh, she has no passive I think you're close to being able to kill her yeah I killed her actually okay yeah it's fine I oh, didn't need to go for that she was dead that's good Uh, Leeson hasn't shown anywhere yet, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I just saw him behind you, yeah. Yeah, 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 but he won't really do anything. Yeah, that's good, nice. Now I'm just trying to shove it in so she can loot the cannon bay. Yeah, yeah, it's good to shove it in here. Choga just strolling through. Oh, if you got that minion, you could have zeal on this back and maybe a potion. I think it's fine to take this wave, actually. She can't kill you. I think she's still level 3. Mm, yeah. Because this back is going to be a bit awkward now. If you got that wave, you could have got zeal, potions and the pink word. Hmm, double door and uh, I think it's fine. Yeah, I was, I was still a bit scared of her burst, so I think it it was just a safe option to go for a little bit more HP mm -hmm -hmm. to the door. That's fine. I mean, I think it's the best buy you could have got with how much money you backed to it. I'm trying to place the ping before she can see my inventory, so she won't. I don't. Mm, you ended up missing two minions for it. I mean, it's a. Uh, yeah, that was a bad trade, but. <coughs> and Leah's there. So no, I'm I still guess. thinking about the pink word thing. Mm. Here you shouldn't be playing so scared. You have six. Okay, that wasn't... Uh, yeah, flushing is fine, actually. One second, let me go back a bit. Right. Yeah, she was hacking the wall, though. For her, for her here, it's really hard to dodge. Since she's right here, you can just throw it, like, at this angle. Since there's a wall here, so she can't really dodge it. Uh-huh, I see. You, yeah, I mean... It was obviously safer to flash, but in that scenario, I don't think you really need it, though. No. But it's good that you know your damage output. You know when you can go for the kill. Your choke at the stop lane. Listen's missing. I'm not actually sure if it's safe to present it like this at this time. Uh... I think it's okay since you you're Yasuo and you can just win the wall Q, it's generally okay. Mm, I see. And since you saw all of their all of the anime champions in their <laughs> lanes as well. So you know no one's going to come with Lee Sin. Oh wow, I just noticed you're on twenty eight ping. That's really good. Yeah, it's... Pretty nice. I think Leeson will be hitting 6 soon, if he's not 6 already. Also, try to remember to tab whenever they come back to lane, so you see their items. Okay, yeah, that's good. I mean, I have an avatar open in the right corner. Yeah, okay. Um, You didn't need to go for that either. I mean, it was a bit... Of extra damage you didn't need to take. Mm -hmm. I think you surprised yourself with your damage. <laughs> That's why you went for it. Because you bursted her. Yeah, yeah. I for a lot. I just tried to make sure. Yeah. I think you crit your Q or auto there. That's why you did so much. Okay. Lee Sin can do anything. You're abusing 
your advantage pretty well here. You can't really roam since your bot lane is pushing to their turret. Uh, your top lane is as well at the moment. Yeah, it's good to farm rates here. Going for a shift, that's good. Always choke at going for Devourer, actually. <laughs> yeah, Devourer, Nashers. Kind of a non heal build or whatever. Interesting. Malphite died top. Leeson just showed bottom you can go really aggressive. Actually, Darius is missing. Ah, uh, you knew that was the clone. Do you know why? Yeah, I, I, I just tried to get close, so I, maybe I can uh, somehow get close. Because you had your E circle around her. Look here. You had your E circle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I, I just tried to close nah, the Nah, your animation is too long on your ultimate to catch her there. Because now if you still had ultimate, she's she would be a lot more... More scared. Yeah, yeah, that was a mistake. I just misplayed it. Ah, uh, unnecessary tower damage. Yeah, your aswo seems to be pretty smooth. Oh, thanks. Especially for being silver or gold, whatever. Do you know all the matchups, or at least most of them? Yeah, I know. I, at least mid lane matchups. I'm not sure about. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Mid. I'm not sure how good top lane he is. Uh, waiting for boots is okay, I guess. Hmm. That's fine. You couldn't really do anything if you went sooner. Do you split push off in or do you just keep team fighting? No, I, I very rarely split push. It's really good to split push on something like Yasuo, especially when you're this fed. I mean, not yet, obviously. I mean, the towers are still all. Are yeah, still yeah, all but up. generally, I, I prefer team fights, so split pushing. Your one phone should be really good. It's a good way to abuse. Um, and lower yellow especially. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're just this. They can't come close to you. They're so scared. Going bot lane here, I think, would be better. Uh, yeah, my rooms are actually pretty weak. Generally, that's my mistake, and I'm trying uh -huh. to see if I actually picked up. The alphabet, so I can. Uh, I think actually you need to look around your map more, a lot more. Because mm -hmm. I think this is the first time I saw you peeking at your bot lane. Yeah, well, I was on Skype with uh, ADC in the top lane, so I was, I, I knew what was going on. Oh, okay, okay. Just in general, something to do. I also don't rec really recommend duoing and stuff but I mean depends if it works really well then it's fine I think you could have tried to get her there because you had ultimate and ignite up you could easily burst her ah yes yeah that is and being three levels ahead she still has no armor whatsoever she's going Morello she is really squishy. That was a bad tornado, you should have gone for the Darius. Uh, I thought uh, LeBlanc was closing in, so I tried to... <coughs> no, Darius was more of a threat, since he has hook, and uh, I didn't see if he had like boots of swiftness or something, so he maybe could catch up, but... Yeah. Um, being bot lane here, not sure if it's much use. 
think being mid is better unless you can dive effectively. Mm -hmm. I mean, at this point, no one can take you on, so. Also, you have a lot of gold at the moment. Ah, yes, yes, that's pretty much wasted because I should look back at some items. I think taking midwave and backing would be the best right here. Because that midwave is probably going to crash into your tower and you're going to lose it. Mm -hmm. And that's fine to take that farm. I mean, you're going to hard carry this game by the looks of it. Don't have to leave it for your AD carry. Yeah, it would have flamed probably. <laughs> It's good that you didn't tell Darius also, he was almost certainly dead, so it's good that you see these things. Here you can walk up sort of behind the turret. Okay, you got the vein. Just so you, like, make more pressure since you're 5v3 bot lane. Mm -hmm, I see. Think. Yeah, it's too early in the game to take an inhib turret. The the death timers are super super low. Think yeah, going mid was better here. Cause like this is just going to be a never ending fight. Until you slowly lose it, cause you can't kill them and they keep going to the base and getting full health. <laughs> What time is it optimal to go for this turret? Uh, it's not good. I mean, and also you have a lot of gold. I mean, you have BX sword, pickaxe, and base, which is huge. Or BF sword and cloak for 100% crit. I need to back more, for it seems like. Didn't need to end wall. Uh. Yeah, this recall should have been a, a few minutes ago. Mm, I see. Because uh, this er this early on, it wasn't really beneficial to stay in the bot lane since the, the timers are so so low, and you can't really keep fighting or dive yet since turrets actually hurt. No one in your team is tanky enough. I see. Wow, the Jana tornado was insane. Yeah, <laughs> that leaves and is probably tilted after that. Holy shit! Yes. Yeah, sucks to be him. Okay, <laughs> you should just... Uh, there's a wave top lane also. Like here you can start pl split pushing top lane. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay you got him. You could have killed her, you didn't. The turret wasn't on you. One auto attack probably would have killed her since you have 100% crit. Let me go back again. Um, yeah, the turret lost aggro on you there. Yeah, you can just auto her. Mm -hmm, I see. Also, if you run dangerous game, it might have saved you. Here. Even though Janna pushed Vayne into you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, you got swiftness, yeah, it's fine. Wait, he didn't die, what? Wait, did LeBlanc's W deal no damage? <laughs> I think she queued after, actually, yeah. Yeah, that LeBlanc was not... <clears throat> yeah, it didn't seem That's like she's good. so good. Yeah, I just saw the Nasher's tooth on Cho'Gath. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. You're five levels up on their support, wow. Uh, 
going bot lane here was better all of their cha their players are all alive so you can't really take this turret and there's a wave piling up bot lane mm -hmm. I mean you most likely won't really get anything here for a while at least unless Malphite comes with ultimate but he's still top lane yeah yeah I see because at this stage you can only really dive if Malphite hits like a good ultimate on Vayne or Leblanc or something uh, and someone else I think there you could have vaulted oh uh, she still died it's fine yeah you need to look at your side lanes more mm -hmm. yeah that was so much gold from bot lane it's like more than a kill Easily. Uh, I think you could have bursted Lee's in there if you ulted. You're three levels ahead and you have 100% crit, so. Oh, yeah. Okay, you go in there. I think he's dead to ignite, yep. Yeah, just take top lane now since the wave is here. You have infinity edge in base here. I think this is a bit too greedy. Your damage took. I mean, your teammates took damage, and you have a really good power spike in base. Mhm. Mm so I, I just generally need to back more of them. Yes, and look at your side lanes. I mean, your SO mechanics seem to be pretty, pretty good, Thanks. especially at this level. And I think you, uh, uh, not sure. I think you can go in a bit more when you're this far ahead. Mm -hmm. Also, th I think that was a knock up on Vayne and Lee's in which you might have been able to go for. Yeah, yeah. Do you yeah. always play on lock screen or? No, I use spacebar. Oh, okay. Because in these fights, I just see it on you all the time. Yeah, I always hold it in fights. So I just. Because, okay. you know, playing something like Yasuo, having the your teammates being able to set up your ult, mm -hmm. you won't always see how good of an opportunity it is. You might be able to outplay this. You have passive up. Ah, she's dead. I think you could have gone for her there actually. She's so squishy. And she was going for Janna. Well, yeah, yeah, I probably <coughs> would have killed her. And you being such higher uh, two levels up, your passive is also stronger. So you got a decent shield. Sometimes people forget about Yasuo's shield, which really yeah, catches yeah, them off guard. Yeah. Okay, so you should get Infinity Edge, and how much gold left? Uh, I, hmm, I think grabbing uh, an Elixir would be good here, actually. Oh. The red Elixir. Yeah, because uh, how the game is going, you're probably going to be able to end the game soon. Or if not, get really good fights or something, so that extra spike of damage temporarily will be... I mean, even if it's n like not permanent gold, because it expires, it still will get you a good lead. Mm -hmm, I see. For this instance, and with the amount of money you had when you bagged, I think it was a good option. I see. Um... Yeah, I think going bot lane here is also better, since Chogat is already pushing top also. Yeah, I would like to group a bit too much, since Yasuo is so strong at 1v1s, especially when so far ahead. Oh, that was a good ult. Yeah, 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 Malphite. Ah, dashing out like that wasn't good. Let me see that again, actually. That was good old. 
Ah, uh, you should have just either ignited her or just killed her, rather yeah, than I dashing. They yeah. Would kill her, but yeah, yeah. Oh, they just surrender. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, I mean, it was a short game. You played your lane pretty good, pretty well. Um, yeah, you need to look at your side lanes more for sure. Mm. Um, group less, because you really can abuse a lot more things, and especially when they're not so good, you know, in silver. Uh, well, they were not really silver. I mean, uh, LeBlanc was platinum last season, and this season they were all gold, but. I mean, still, you destroyed them easily, you know? Yeah, yeah, I got you. So, point. yeah. Um, what was the other main thing? Uh, hitting tab more also is a good thing. Um, and I think that's mostly it from this game. Also, do you always keep the yellow trinket on Yasuo? Most of the times, yes. Uh, unless if I'm against the Fed I. And they I things. think it's correct. I'm not sure what they do on Yasuo. Uh, a lot seem to be getting blue trinket actually. Oh, really? Yeah, quite a decent amount. Uh, it's mostly blue and yellow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's quite a lot of blue trinkets. And what's the reasoning behind the blue trinket? I mean, uh, uh, when when split pushing, it's really good since yes, I mean, generally people will split push with Yasuo. Well, so if they're missing, and let's say, let's, let me go back and have the map. Um, let's say you're split pushing top lane, right? Yeah. And the enemy just left mid lane, so you could just um, use the blue trinket and check like around the blue buff in the river. And see them coming from afar, so you can run away safer. Uh, I see, I see. Since words are obviously shorter range, I guess. Mhm. Mm yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think split pushing and looking at your side lanes more is will really help you a lot. Mhm. Mm Since your mechanics are actually surprisingly really good on him. Uh, nice. You wanted to ask anything else? Yeah, well, a bit more about uh, wave control. I mean, I think I just my wave control is not really that good because a lot of the lot of the times I when I hit two, the wave is in an awkward position, so I can't really abuse the level two power spike, and I can go for a trade. And uh, <clears throat> I'm not sure how I can m manipulate the wave in a way that it's beneficial to me. Um. Okay. So. For uh, level 2 power spike is pretty uh, hard to abuse on you so since your Q's can push really fast. Because mm -hmm. let's say you get level 2 before them. That means you, uh, you're you actually already pushing since you killed more minions. Yes. So yeah, that's already an awkward situation. Let's see for example here. I mean this game you could have abused it a lot better since she lost experience. Yeah, here I told you that that Q was bad since it will yeah, start yeah, yeah. pushing into here. Yeah, because you should hit two with this minion. Because it's always the first minion on the second wave. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you already pushed the first wave. I mean, in general, it's not really that easy to get level 2 before. I mean, it's almost impossible to get level 2 before without the wave being pushed. I mean, you have to ra last hit them at really low health, so the wave is almost still equal. And then you can try to abuse if you can in certain matchups. Mm -hmm. I see. Um, wave management, you can set up slow pushes and side lanes if you want to fight, like see here uh, later on in the game um, I think this is where bot lane is crashing into your tower or, no 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 the minions are there actually uh, there was a point where the minions were going to crash into your tower you could have went bot lane 
uh, cleared the minions and when the minions are equal just kill the three melee minions and let it slow push so if you're fighting mid lane or top lane or whatever the minions will still stack up and they will start pressuring the turret bot lane then yeah 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 we can have a giant wave yeah i know that uh, I mean, for wave management, it's sort of matchup specific. Also, the junglers, whether they are, for example, Leeson obviously can pressure early game, even though this Leeson didn't do much this game. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. Uh, not sure what else I can tell you about managing waves from mid lane. Uh, you had the right idea to push before backing, even though your first back was actually Between pretty bad. Yeah, it was pretty bad because you delayed it. And what about tracking the enemy jungler's position? Because I noticed that a lot of highly higher elo players can just pretty much predict where the jungler is at the given. Uh, point. That comes with the timing. Okay, let's go back a bit. Uh, I mean, I mean, let's just say that uh, the jungler, the enemy jungler, knows what he's doing, and he's not taking an uh, <clears throat> an optimal route, and he's taking the best possible and the most optimal route. And uh, I'm not sure how I can just uh, predict where he is at a given point. Uh, the thing is, first of all, you can look at top and bot lane and see if they leash for him. Yeah, you and that will give me an idea about. Yeah, you, so that way you will know whether he started either Gromp or the Krugs bot lane. And then it comes, I mean, every jungler is different. For example, if Leeson takes, uh, let's say, 10 seconds to clear red buff, Amumu might take 8 seconds, and then Malphite might take 12. You know, it's different for every jungler, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, depends also if you get any vision of him in the river or anything. Things like these, I guess, watching out for the level 1 leash is what's... The first thing for knowing where he could be. Mm -hmm. uh, from then on out, he, around three minutes, like at this time, he could easily be mid lane because he could have cleared whatever side and got the buff and is coming mid lane here. Also, especially since you just used your wind wall, it's a lot easier for Leeson to do something now. Mm -hmm. And see. you're pushing the wave also here. So. I see. Uh, yeah, it's things like these. Also, you have Chogat on your bottom side and you were the top side, so... I mean, uh, it's good to hold on to where you have vision, but at the same time, your jungler was bot side for possibly helping you more. Mm -hmm. I think if you just warded your right side rather than top side it would have been better yeah 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 I see yeah it's just things like these that you'll get used to and will eventually keep climbing and improving cause uh, yeah you escaped this gank for example really well yeah cause mechanically wise I mean I won't it's not good to go in depth especially at this, at this level there are a few things obviously you Still need to learn, but for now it's fine. Even though I don't recommend playing stuff like Yasuo, Z, Driven, whatever, and lower elos, you seem to be doing pretty well with him, so. Oh, I see. It's fine. Uh, any other questions? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have one last question. Um, yeah, sure. When I, when I try to learn how to play like an AP champion, mm -hmm. like Twisted Fate or some, something else. I just don't know what the I don't know how to actually learn how to play them because most of the times I'm so used to Yasuo and the AD mid laners like that or Talon and I I just uh, extremely uncomfortable to play EP champions in general and my movements and my positioning in lane and even after laning phase is just uh, just bad and I'm not sure how to improve and that should I just keep playing them and eventually in time I will get better or is there any specific uh, first of all, it depends which kind of mages, because you have, like, stuff like Lux, Zerat, uh, Zillion, which, Victor, which are, like, control mages, so you can just keep clearing the waves and then just team fight later on, catch someone out with, like, a Lux binding, Zerat stun, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> um, so you don't really have that much kill pressure unless you catch them doing a really stupid mistake or whatever. Um, so they're more of a conserved way of playing the lane. Because Yasuo is uh, about trading a lot and trying to get an early kill in some matchups and setting up a kill for level 6 and things like these. Uh, depends what you feel is like weird for you. Like even the even auto attacking and probably CSing with an AP. Uh, yeah, that yeah. will take quite some time to get used to. I think it's fine since you're not that experienced at all with playing them, just going into a custom game. Um, don't buy items. You can take runes and masteries, I guess. I mean, it's, it's fine. Um, and just practice farming um, alone. Just take mm -hmm. like 20 minutes, like get used to farming them. I, you, I see you playing normal games, you can keep practicing them a bit more in normal games and slowly keep working on as different aspects like you get used to farming, you start seeing your damage with at certain levels with certain items mm -hmm. um, then you can start going for better trades since you know your damage output and things like these, you know oh, I see. so it will come from experience mostly and understanding What's what steps to take and learn from next? Mm, I, I see. I see. Uh, how often do you play also? Uh, every day. Um, how many games on average? Like six games a day? Yeah, like five, six games. On. Okay, it's a decent yeah. amount. Yeah, you should improve fairly fast. Playing normal games is fine for learning new champions and mechanics and such and matchups i mean yeah yeah, yeah. and one more uh, a little bit more specific question so I, I mentioned that i'd like to learn twisted fate as an uh, i don't recommend twisted fate twisted fate is so 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 complex actually <laughs> every yeah, matchup but, uh, is different and yeah but i mean i've tried quite a lot of other champions and i just don't really enjoy the other mages that much i mean it's just fun to play and my roaming is actually a bit weak, so we can with him I can improve on that as well. I mean, depends what kind of mages you would like to play. I mean, depends if you want to improve and climb, or if you want to have fun also. There's a difference, you know? Yeah, well, I've, I, I think I've actually told you about this, that climbing is not my primary goal. So, if, let's say, I had to play Pandy on top every game, and I would get the platinum in, like, two weeks, that would not really... Be it doesn't okay. really mean much to you, yeah. Yeah, because I'm not having fun, so if I get the platinum in like two months, but I'm playing champs that I like, it's, it's a lot better. Because yeah, it's, it's different fun. for everyone, I guess. I mean, for example, I personally enjoy playing highly mechanical champions, I understand you, like playing Gyasuo and Driven and Lee's in vain, Trash, things like these, you know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, but not everyone's the same. I mean, there are people who just spam something like, I don't know, Yorick or or God. You know, it's like yeah, everyone's yeah, different. Like I mean, depends. What kind of APMH style would you think is f fitting for you? Well, I think uh, I wish that Fate is pretty fitting because he just had a pretty good wave clear. In late game, he had a high burst and he can just turn around fight with his ultimate and. It's uh, he had a lot of uh, way to psychologically pressure the enemy team with going mm -hmm. to the core and the just uh, presence of TF with an ultimate up is just uh, yep. Genius. I mean that's why he's also really unique in his own sense. Mm -hmm. So I can't really compare him to many champions. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. Maybe you could like Victor. Yeah, I I like Victor. He's a bit fun. I mean, if, since you're looking for Im sort of improving while still playing fun champions and stuff, yeah, I could just play different things until you see what you like and climb with them, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I think that's mostly it. If you want, you know, you climb more, you start playing something else, have another session. I'm fine with it, I have time. Alright, thank you very much for that. No problem. Um, 
Yeah, I guess that's pretty much it, unless you want to ask something else? No, I, I don't have any more questions. Okay, good. I uh, hope this was helpful. Yeah, shit was definitely helpful. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess that's mainly it.